If I go right across it, my line goes tight. Watch what happens if I throw across this. There's going to be two different seams. See how that line right there at the end of my tip got pulled really fast. See how that other stuff's sitting there? It's nothing seam. It's nothing current. So I'm going to move up here and I'm going to high stick this, meaning I'm going to keep my line off the water as much as I can so it can go through that outside current. That's high sticking in a nutshell, keeping your line off the water so those convergent seams don't get a hold of it and drag your fly unnaturally, especially on the first one. Whoa, and I miss a fish. Did you see that? I missed that fish. I was watching that. As soon as I put the tension on, boom, I saw him separate. And it wasn't, there was hardly a movement to that bottom one. It just went a little bit straighter. A couple things that no matter where you're, no matter how or where you're fishing, rod angle is absolutely critical. If you throw your line up here and stand here like this and you just pick your rod up and you don't lead that line, you're going to create drag on the fly immediately. You have to follow when your line hits the water. You always try to keep your rod tip pointed above your indicators. All right, they're going downstream. You notice I'm turning with them and I'm always, see my rod tip, it's above my indicators. They're not up here. If I put my line up here, if I throw it up here and just do a mend and stand here like this, one, I got all this slack down there, and two, the flies are getting dragged unnaturally. They're, get, they're starting to do an arc. So you always keep your rod tip under or above your indicator if you can, just like this. I mean, without, oh, how do you like that, Spanky? Hey, that looks like a whitey. 